out-of-state investors invested in Cleveland. That's what this is about. That's what I'm here for. Today we're working with one, really going to help them. I think I got something that is really going to be right up their alley, right? So if you're interested in out-of-state investing, uh, and Cleveland's one of the cash flow markets you've zeroed in on, you're not going to want to miss what I have to say. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV. Again, if you're interested in Cleveland real estate investing or cash flow investing in general, and a lot of what you're trying to do is out of state, I really think you're going to dig what we do here. So please, folks, subscribe. And today I'm working specifically with my man Chad. And Chad, I, I got something good for you. I think you're really going to like this video. Okay, brother, here's the deal. You sent me uh, that property in Lakewood, right? You sent me that deal in Lakewood. That deal was almost four times as expensive as the deal we're going to be going over today, right? That was almost a $300,000 deal, right? Okay, so that would be like three times, actually, because this one's like 90. Yeah, I'm not. Okay, yeah. Yeah, three times. Three times more expensive, brother. My bad. All right. So that deal, you liked it. You sent it to me, and I uh, I also liked it. I thought it was a pretty good deal. I confirmed uh, some of that stuff for you. Uh, but then, you know, you kind of, I don't know if I want to call it cold feet, uh, maybe it's a little bit of cold feet. It's okay. We could say that. It happens, right? There's nothing wrong with cold feet. I'm not here uh, to put your face to the fire, right? Like, I collect my money up front, okay? You got to pay me to get my insight, folks. Uh, because a lot of you, you know, getting cold feet back in out of deals, that stuff happens, right? I, it, It's a numbered show, right? It's a numbered show. Like, what, what number is this? This is episode 1,276, right? I've been around the block. I've sold $200 million worth of this stuff, right? I've been selling real estate before I did this show, and, you know, I'm already at episode 1276 on the show, right? So I've dealt with freaking a lot of investors, okay? And, you know, cold feet, these are things that happen, right? I built that into my business model, right? I want to give you the information that you need to make informed decisions, whether that's continue on with the purchase or with all the information you have, not make the purchase, right? That's what I'm here for. You don't got to worry about me. I'm getting paid either way, okay? Right? It's a pay-to-play model. So with all that said, I think it's okay that we could say that you got a little bit of cold feet on that one, Chad, right? You were thinking you wanted to do that deal. Uh, but then after you really broke things down and, and really looked at the numbers that I gave to you and, and went over everything, you were kind of like looking at things and you're like, I think doing a deal like that is going to wipe out all my reserves, James. And I don't want to move forward at this time because I'm not capitalized. I want to have some money in reserves. I want to have some leftovers for rainy day stuff, right? And Chad, brother, I respect the fuck out of that. I think that's good. I think that's smart. I think that is an astute decision to make, right? So we could do a couple different things right now. We could hit pause, and you could save up some more coin. And when you get it, let me know. We'll begin the search for properties like that again. Or or I want to give you a little bit of in-depth market insight into some other less widely known areas, right? Because you, Chad, you're out of state, right? So I bet you the little area I'm going to be talking about today I bet you information on this area has not gotten to you, right? I don't know all the intricacies of your real estate market, just like you don't know all the intricacies of my real estate market. Lakewood, like what we talked about last time, it's pretty popular. A lot of people know about it. We're talking about something called Elyria today. Not a lot of people know it, right? So this property, it's going to require a third. A third of the cash is the last one, right? So, uh, you know, your qualms about not having reserves, that's going to be solved. So maybe this new information allows you to make a different decision, or maybe you still want to hit pause. Either way is good with me, but I want you to have this info. So we're going to take a quick break. I'm going to leave you with all the info. Then you let me know what you want to do. Because, Chad, I'm here for you to help build you the portfolio. Whether we build you the portfolio now, whether we build it in six months from now, whether we build it four years from now, dude, I'm still going to be selling real estate, still running the biggest management company of its kind out here in Cleveland. So, uh, brother, I am here at your pace. <laughs> Please. I think it's too big. No, I think it's too big. 
that'll shrink in the water. Welcome back. Let's jump into the deal. I love uh, this deal quite a bit, okay? 210 14th Street, Illyria, 44035. Been on the market seven days, priced at 89K. Now, I love Illyria, dude. Oh, my God, do I love Illyria, right? Here's the cool thing about Illyria. This is why I really love it. On a national stage, people are like, Looking at the Cleveland market, right? Investors all over the place. Like, there's always articles or this or that about Cleveland's a great uh, cash flow market. If you want to get cash flow properties, Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. It, it pops up everywhere, right? You know, you do something like, what are the best cash flow markets in the United States? Cleveland's always in the top 10, right? Sometimes it's even uh, listed as number one on a lot of those publications, right? What's cool about all that is that it's Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. It beats into everybody out there's head that all the Cleveland area is is the city of Cleveland. Not the case, right? The city of Cleveland's got like 350,000 people in there, right? The greater area, several million, okay? So there's a lot of suburbs in and around that area that are not getting a lot of attention. Elyria is one of them. I think it's a nice little sleepy suburb. It's like 40 minutes uh, west of the city of Cleveland. And uh, for those of you that are looking for some type of comparison here, right, where LeBron is from, Akron, right? Everybody says LeBron's from Cleveland, LeBron's from Cleveland, LeBron's from Cleveland. LeBron's not from Cleveland. LeBron's from Akron. Uh, that's south, south of Cleveland, about the same distance, right? So it's in the general area, right? We service Elyria. We have tons of properties in Elyria, right? But it's off the radar, which is great because it allows us, in my opinion, to pick up deals we couldn't have otherwise got if they were in Cleveland. This property would not have remained on the market for seven days if it was in Cleveland, folks. 89000 This thing's awesome. It's a side-by-side -side duplex. Side-by-side -side duplexes are, in fact, the best friggin' duplexes. Now, it's fully occupied with long-term tenants, so do not expect... Uh, this thing to be like spick and span, beautiful, looking fresh, looking clean. The real estate agent for the seller only provided one photo because, guys, it's really friggin' tough to go through tenants' houses and take pictures. They don't, like, want to deal with all you fucking assholes, like, interrupting their life. But it don't really matter. Some people think that's a red flag. It's not. There ain't nothing special you're going to see in there, folks. I'm going to tell you this right now. I already know what it looks like. It looks like it needs a turnover when these tenants move out. They're long-term tenants, folks. You do not get to buy $90,000 duplexes in the Cleveland market with long-term tenants, and then when they move out, you just sweep it up and it's ready to rent for the next tenant. That don't fucking happen. If that's your expectation, it's wrong. You're going to need to refresh the unit. Paint! Uh, if they got carpet, we're replacing it. I like to replace it with vinyl or hardwood so you mitigate that cost in the future. You don't have to deal with that again, right? Uh, we may need to do Home Depot, Lowe's quality uh, kitchen cabinets, bath fixtures, right? So we might be looking at like five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars per unit when these folks eventually move out, right? These folks have been there for quite a long time, and it already cash flows where they're at, seven fifty and six hundred. But market rent sits at side by side, which is the premium layout, folks. That's eight hundred a unit, sixteen hundred a month, or nineteen thousand two hundred a year, right? They have it listed at 89. We need to pay 89, okay? I assume there's eventually going to be multiple offers on this. Yes, it's still on the market today because it's got an Elyria address as opposed to a Cleveland address and it's getting less national traction. But look, a lot of people will understand this is going to make money because this thing's a fucking cash cow. So be prepared to pay 89 or more, right? 16 hundo. Long-term market rents, after you run your fixed and variable expense estimates with Holton Wise handling everything on the ground for you, you're looking at an NOI of about 709 uh, for the month. On average, 85 for the year on average. Some years will be better, some will be worse, right? As you see, we got capital expenditures. I'm, I'm saving up 960 every year for you, right? That's for things like roofs, furnaces, hot water tanks, none of which are anticipated to be new. This is not a scenario where we get on our contract for like 90 grand and then we get the inspection report back and you're like, oh my God, the roof is like 20 years old. How much is the roof? And I go, oh, well, this roof would probably be like seven grand to replace. You go, oh my God, ask the seller for seven grand off. No, motherfucker, it's not. No, look. This house is worth every bit of 89 or more in its current condition with long-term tenants playing below market rent with units that are dated and there is no expectation of there being 
a new roof, a new furnace, or a new hot water tank. I factored that type of stuff into your analysis here, folks. Capital expenditures, right? 960 a year. You don't do a roof every year, obviously. You do a roof once every 30 years. Costs about uh, seven grand. Hot water tanks. You're usually going to be replacing those bad boys every 15 years. Costs about a G right now. Furnaces cost about three G's. You're usually doing those about every three years. None of these mechanicals are brand new, folks. They're all currently working. Why would the seller replace them? If you got a furnace, it's probably going to work for another five years. Why the fuck would you replace it? You wouldn't, right? So the property's going to be worth that. Those are the proper expectations. The thing's still going to kick off a ton of money, right? Who's to say we actually have to kick these tenants out to get them up to market? If we slowly get them up to market, right, slowly bring them up, we wouldn't have to have a turnover, and then we'd be looking at a friggin' 23.1% cash on cash return, right? Only 22250 out of your pocket. This is a solid investment. As far as Illyria goes as compared to Cleveland, I've already mentioned that nationally people aren't paying attention to it enough. In my opinion, uh, Illyria, it's like a high C. Maybe I might even consider it like a B neighborhood, dude. I believe personally uh, that the tenant base in Illyria – it is a little uh, more easy going to work with. I feel like we're doing better with our Elyria tenant base than a lot of the west side neighborhoods in Cleveland we deal with, right? Uh, crime appears to be lower, and, like, I just feel like overall uh, we're doing very well. Like, if you give me, uh, you know, the Cleveland, west side of Cleveland, Elyria, I, I enjoy investing in both of them, but right now I believe Elyria is probably uh, the better play that a lot of people don't know about. Additionally, the government, uh, much easier to deal with, right? Like, this is a Cleveland market, folks. There's a lot of different cities out here, right? Cleveland, East Cleveland, Cleveland Heights, right? A lot of people think those three are the same. They're not. That's three completely different cities. Then we got O'Leary, we got Luray, we got Lakewood, Rocky River, Garfield Heights, Bedford Heights, Newburgh Heights, Parma Heights, Parma, uh, Brook Park, right? All these areas in the greater Cleveland area, every single one of them has a different government, different rules, different procedures, right? That's why you hire Holton Wise, because we can navigate all that. But what I'm telling you right now is I am really big on Illyria. And the other thing, too, didn't stress this enough. I'm really big on the fact that this is a side-by-side -side duplex. Uh, a, you get more rent. But B, what you do is, and it's more important, than the additional rent. Like if this is an up down, I would say the market rent is about 750, right? We squeeze an extra 50 bones uh, because it's the up down layout or the side by side layout versus the up down layout. We squeeze out an extra 50 bones per unit there, right? But that 100 bucks a month, 1200 a year, that's not what I love about it. What I love about it is it reduces turnover. You get long term tenants, right? Because uh, it's not as much uh, sound annoyance, right? Nobody's above you, nobody's below you, right? That kind of stuff causes tenants to fight. When tenants fight, they become unhappy. When they're unhappy, guess what? One of them usually moves out right so that becomes a problem and the majority of duplexes in the entire cleveland market all the cities i just mentioned most of them i would say like 95 percent are built with the up down layout so whenever you get the opportunity to pick up a side-by-side -side property absolutely do it so in my opinion uh there's no such thing as a can't lose deal uh but this is very much as close to that as i think you can possibly get in the cleveland market for your money right now this duplex is a friggin' banger. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.